I've asked some of my design friends to give us some tips how we can improve certain areas of our homes. So come along and let's see what they have to say. Quiet on the set. See, this is exactly why I don't have florals on my cocktail table. I hope my landlord is not watching this video. Today we're gonna to talk about coffee tables. So let's start out with this coffee table. As you can see, it's a little antique trunk that sits in front of the fireplace. This one is very simple. It's the perfect place for dinner for two. So let's start setting the table. And I love the size and the shape of these dinner plates. These soup bowls I found in a flea market years ago in Ohio. These napkins are from a shop in Paris. The flatware, I love the rustic feeling of this flatware and I love the weight. Water glass, great color and texture. Purple wine glasses. And of course, always a flower on the table. Hey guys, I'm Kayanda of Kayanda Powell Design Studio. I'm here at my apartment in Washington, D.C. I've pulled a few things together and I'm going to show you how I style my coffee table. So, take a look. I literally shopped my home to pull things from all over, including my storage unit. Books are a good foundation when starting to layer your table. We play with heights in areas where it makes sense. I wanted to elevate this particular bowl with the spurs, place some objects inside of them, and took the stack of white books, turning it just so, so it gives me a different perspective and angle for that vignette. And then creating some contrast and doing the stacks of black book underneath. So when looking at placement, you know, this is where a lot of the editing happens. And you're gonna put things and you're gonna shift them and move them around. And if you're anything like me, it might happen a million and one times. But it's okay, you're just judging to make sure you get the right effect for what you're going for. I also play with height when it comes to the florals. These are very simple arrangements to achieve. This is all filler. I love the color story, I love the texture of some of these, and I loved pairing it with this vintage milk glass footed box. I wanted to make sure I had some activities at my fingertips, and so there's tons of magazines which I've stacked underneath the second shelf, and then I brought in some sketchbooks that I had in storage, and I said, you know what, why not pull out some pencils, have it all here, ready to go, and get creative. And I sprinkled in a few things from my travels, whether it be the mask and beads, coffee table books that are specific to that destination, and then having stacks of these travel magazines too make me feel like I'm going somewhere, even though we're all sitting right at home. Hey guys, it's Alice and Victoria. So when it comes to my coffee table, I'm gonna kind of walk you through a couple of the pieces. You really wanna have some dimension, so you wanna have differentiating heights in those items, and also different colorways and textures. You'll see that I have two coffee table books I like to have on hand because sometimes I like to flip through them. I have a floral arrangement that's actually preserved roses. Real flowers are beautiful, but they're not sustainable. Uh, on top of that is actually something that I found at Home Goods. It was like $4, and it's this like, kind of like a, just a, a, an artichoke, and it's gold and white, and it's hollow, and again, it's creating a little more height. So these two little pieces here are just from a local store. The blue one, this turquoise one, is actually from Old San Juan. These are vintage Hermes playing cards. The tray right here is form and function, which is another great thing about you know styling a coffee table. It has to look good, but it has to function as well. There's just a lot of special meaning in each piece, and I feel like that's an extremely important way to accessorize, whether it's on a coffee table, or on your bookshelves, or on your mantle. Everything should have a bit of a meaning, and this table means so much to me. Hey, I'm interior designer and television host Mikael Welch. You may have seen me on Trading Spaces or my new show Murder House Flip, which is on Quibi. And today I am with you because I wanna show you how I style a coffee table. The first thing that I love to do is to begin with the piece that you love the most. So for me, it's the antique wooden bowl that I have. 
I started to play with the beads, but it just wasn't significant enough. Let me try a couple of books. And when I go to place the beads on top, it kind of gives it a nice surface where everything will kind of waterfall down and kind of cascade. So next to that, I wanted to play around with a couple of different books. I have these antique currency pieces, they're African currency on a chain, just to kind of give it that kind of like vintage-y patina, which goes nicely with the modern book. So I need to start thinking about how to balance the other side of the coffee table. First, I tried that horse. As you see, the horse is just massive. So my answer to that was to bring in the antique wooden wheel. So it has that circular formation, which is gonna help me out and break up all of the squareness that I have from the toffee table as well as the books. The last thing I wanna do is to bring in a little bit of nature. Honestly, when you work in neutrals, a lot of times nature becomes your pop of color. So I went and I grabbed some beautiful uh, foliage that was outside. I hope my landlord is not watching this video because I did cut them from outside of my uh, apartment building, but that's our little secret. Just make it fun, you know, it, it's a coffee table. So over time, if you do decide to switch something out, you can totally do that too. Hey there, I'm Caitlin Wilson, and today I'm gonna to show you how I like to style my coffee table. Usually I start with a nice big tray to give a foundation on the space. I usually come in with a bunch of coffee table books, and then after that is usually the sculptural element. So for me, I love blue and white porcelain. It's fun to have the different heights all across the coffee table. And obviously to come in and have a fresh floral, which I just grabbed from the garden, to have the height and to add something that's alive. So this is my coffee table. Thanks for watching. My name is Caroline Rafferty. I'm a designer from Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm gonna show you how to style a coffee table. I think your coffee table should be fun and reflective of who you are and the journeys you've taken in your life. I love to change out my coffee table. I love to find out unexpected things on it. It's a nice way to have a conversation starter when you're hosting friends or new friends. I went for the poppies because of the piece of art behind me by Bill Beckley. I always love to have different books that I found. I love design books. Jeremiah Goodman's portfolio book by Bean Reese Morgan on display, as well as a cube of pictures of my children. Thanks so much for joining today. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I style a coffee table. Stay safe. Hi everyone, it's Katie Curtis from Katie Curtis Design. I'm coming to you today from my New York apartment. We're gonna be styling a cocktail table today, or a coffee table, as some people like to say. And this is my cocktail table in my apartment. It's bronze and nickel, and it has a smoked glass top to it. It fits really, really nicely in my space and it's blank right now, and we're gonna judge it up with some fun stuff today and give you some tips that you can use at home to style your own cocktail table. First thing I look for when styling a cocktail table, either for myself or for my clients, is to find some really great art and design books. I'm looking for things that match my pillows, my art, and I lay them all out on the table, and I start stacking them, starting from bigger ones on the bottom and smaller ones on the top. So now that I have my books and my functional pieces, I'm going to start messing around with it and see how I feel about everything. This tray is actually pretty big, so I think I'm going to put that in the middle. Keep my grouping of three, which I think is really nice. This is starting to look really linear, so I need to mix up the square shapes with some round and some more sculptural shapes. So this is an amazing, amazing art piece that I'm just going to place on top of the books. That gives some height. Also, uh, personal pieces. This is this amazing alabaster lotus that a dear friend gave to me. So I'm going to use this here, just again to add some variety to the shapes. And there you have it, some fun and easy ways to style your cocktail table at home, just with things you have around the house. Thank you so much, and I'd love to see pictures of your own styling your cocktail table. Don't forget to tune in next week for another Style Improvise. Like and subscribe to our channel below. See you next week.